Question 20. In the triangle, angle Y is obtuse. Work out the size of angle Y. The first thing to notice is we've got an angle on the opposite side and another angle on the opposite side. That means we can use the sine rule and the first thing we'll need to do is label our angle. So we'll call that A, that A, and that B, and that B. Capital letters for angles and lowercase letters for sides. So using the sine rule, we just need to substitute into here. So let's go for that. So 16 over sine of A, A is what we're trying to calculate, is 10 over the sine of B, which is 34 degrees. If you want to calculate the sine of A, first thing we can do is to rearrange by multiplying by the sine of A. That would be 16 equals sine A times 10 over sine 34. We'll divide by this fraction so that sine A is sine 34 multiplied by 16. 10. That gives us the sine A is roughly 0 0.8947. If you want to calculate A, we'll just do the inverse sine of that, so sine minus 1 of 0 0.8947, which is 63.47 degrees. The final thing is we're told that this angle is obtuse, and 63 degrees is definitely not an obtuse angle. So we need to find a way to find the obtuse angle that also has a sine of 0 0.89. So the best way to do that is to look at the graph of sine. So we know this point here is 180. If we've got 63 degrees, that's value here, and there's a corresponding value with the same value of sine over this side. We know the distance between these two is, is the same, but to do it we'll calculate 180 minus 63.47 gives us an angle of 116.5 degrees to one decimal place.